Hello crafters! This is Suzanne from A Creative Muse and I am here with three Better Press collections. <laughs> the reason I'm showing all three collections together, which is really Better Press and more, like dies and a wax seal stamp and 3D embossing folder, etc. Because I have been mixing and matching these sets between each other as well. So instead of repeating by itself and then by itself i'm bringing in these again i'll just do all three at the same time first collection this is called the everyday copper plate sentiment better press collection designed by paul antonio six better press plates next collection let's celebrate by yana love this one lots of florals and fabulous background better press plates a dye wax seal lots of sentiments and better press goodness i'm so loving this and lastly, there is the Mirrored Arch Collection. This is another one that is just loaded with goodies as well. 3D embossing folder, a die, and then lots of background sentiments, etc. Before I get started in this video, I just wanted to say one thing. Lucky you sale ended. So did the card making superstar, but what is happening now at Spellbinders? You can get an additional 15% off already marked down clearance, which the 15% has no code, so it will apply to your cart. Take a look at it because there are some goodies in that one as well with the clearance, okay? And then at the end of the video, I'll go over some other crafty news just in case you don't know what's happening at Spellbinders. It's all exciting. But that clearance with the 15%, thumbs up. Alrighty, crafters, let's get into this video now. Let's get started. First up, let's take a look at the Everyday Copper Plate Sentiment Collection. This is designed by Paul Antonio. You have six sentiments, oversized sentiments, not too big, like some of the past Better Press sentiments where it's a full A2, but still a nice amount of real estate on a card. So you can purchase this as a bundle where you would get all six sentiments or individually. First, there is Happy Birthday. Love the scripty font. It does have a touch of elegance to it because of that script. Next, Thank You. Congratulations, which has a little additional flourish piece to it. Thinking of You. Hello. Also has another little flourish over here. And Miss You. Let me give you a measurement of some of the bigger ones here. Let's do Happy Birthday and Congratulations. See how big this plate is? Three and a half inch wide by two and a quarter inch tall. Congratulations, looks like it's under five and a quarter inch wide. So it does have a certain width. So if you're gonna use this on an A2 card, it would have to be a horizontal A2 card. Then the height would be three inches, okay? So this does take a nice amount of real estate on a card. So this is fun. I did mix and match these with a lot of things from Yana's collection, actually, the less celebrate. Love the scripty font. So that is the everyday copper plate sentiments. Love, six better press plates. Up next, crafters, let's talk about, let's celebrate from Yana. Love, this one I am going to revisit. I did work on some of it, but then there's still pieces that I want to go back in. This one in particular, love this. You know Yana when I saw this, because she sometimes watches my video. Listen, this, I was cracking up when I saw this. <laughs> I was just like, yay, she made a plate like that. Because in the past, I have watched where she would have an image and then you see that dark part? That would be where your ink is. And in the past, like if it was a stamped image, she would stamp it, then she'd take her Copic markers or whichever marker or medium that she's using and she'd come on in and I would just watch and go, wow, that's nice, but who? that's a lot of Copic marker. And I don't know if I want to color all of that. <laughs> I'm being honest with you. So when I saw this, I just started laughing. Thanks for taking out that extra step of having to color in the white space. That's what she's doing here. She's taking care of the white space. Let's look at it this way, side by side. So here's an example right from her own collection. This is how we would normally get it. Here's the image of florals and then there's all that open space in white. In the past, she would color all of this in. And I would look and go, wow, that's really nice, but no, I'm not going to do it. So, <laughs> you see how it's an A2? Now with this, see how it's black already? So what you're doing is still getting the details of the florals, but here you're inking. See how you can see my ink on it? Here it's wide open, no inking. 
the inking is only touching the edges of the florals. I did want to really sit down and take my time to watercolor. Deep black here, but you still get the details of the florals. Isn't this gorgeous and lovely and just so pretty? Can you imagine? Mother's Day cards, anniversary cards, elegant birthday cards. Turn this into an invitation. This is also a card that you could make for crafters. Crafters would love to get something like this from you. You'd just make a card and be like, oh, here, I just made a card for you. What? <laughs> I love this. So Yana, you had me at peony background with that solid detail. I did put both of them on cotton card. So I'm going to have to be coloring a lot. This will be with watercolor, either Karen markers, Zig markers, your watercolor palette, tubes, etc. I did talk about some easy watercolor tips in a previous video. I will link that here, okay? This is a must add to your stash. Practice with this one too. If you're still learning how to watercolor, this is a great one. It will take time though, but so worth the effort, the end result. Love, 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 love. Next, there is Floral Celebration, another A2, and it also comes with a coordinating stencil. But you press it, and then you use the stencils, which is a six-count stencil. Color in everything, and it's just so pretty. This particular press plate is bringing back memories of Yana's Glimmer Holly background, where you could use it solid like I did here, or with the accompanying stencil. This is one piece made into two cards, actually, but I use the stencils to color this in. It's the same principle with this, but now it's a better press plate all year round, all occasion winner. Plus, you can still color it here. Love that. And I just used dye inks to color it. I had fun coloring it. So this one is fun for you to press and then practice your ink blending not hard ink blending but you can just practice different color combinations and make all sorts of cards there are so many examples of this too speaking of so many examples kit club this march kit club which is a runaway hit let me tell you this kit club is open until the 27th for new subscriptions don't wait till the end that's my life fourth time telling you that I saw some more examples from Spellbinders Makers. Spellbinders Makers are taking the March Kit Club places like, woo, I did say it was one that if you wanted to ever get a deluxe Caboodle Club, this one might be it. I wasn't lying to you. There are so many fabulous examples from March. This one is another one that you could keep playing to. Examples, examples, change colorways, have fun. Same thing with that March Kit Club. Very easy to work with and just play, have fun, explore. So many colorways, so easy to work with. This is that same principle in one better press plate. Lots of range in here. Love that. And has that stencil, so practice. I love that too. And if you're going to get this, you might as well get the stencil. There is this beauty. Let's celebrate sentiments. Love. You're going to get four major sentiments, which I have pretty much used already and it comes with the coordinating die for the bigger ones the big sentiments are happy birthday wishes happy mother's day so love this because i was always using that happy parents day glimmer hot foil plate i will link it below because it does go on sale it's probably in this clearance too with the additional 15 that's a glimmer plate this one you can also glimmer as well but the sizing is bigger I so love that there is now a better press version that you can also glimmer of Happy Mother's Day. Let's celebrate. Happy anniversary. Then in here, there are lots of sentiments that you can use outside of your card or inside of your card. And yes, you can use these sentiments and glimmer them as well. So better press them or glimmer them. Love that. Now, because they are rectangular, if you are going to use it on the inside of a card, but you're like, I don't want to put watercolor paper or cotton card on the inside of the card, you can press this out and then use a rectangular die or just use your trimmer to cut it, stick it in there with the cotton card, but it's only that part. And then everything else would be your standard cardstock card base. So that's another option too. This is Let's Celebrate Sentiments. Did I give you the name of this one? This one is Floral Celebration. I am all over the place because I'm so happy. This is all so much fun. That's why I'm doing all three because I was doing this with them over and over because they're all better press with added goodies in there. Celebrate Flowers. This is a place and press registration set. This also reminds me of a glimmer set that we had from Yana uh, with Joyful. But in the Joyful, there were some florals as well. Super cute card. That one was glimmer. This is the better press version. This will be easier to work with because you don't have to do that flip upside down with the, you know, you have 
the template to work with. So with the template, I'm going to link here my better press hack video. Worked like a charm with this. And this time I did not make a copy of this. I actually used this because I was inking over here, not on this. So it made it much easier to use the transparent template. Celebrate florals. I'll give you a measurement when I show you my example that I'm working on. And two more goodies in here. Peony Celebration Die Set. Love. You get this drop-in die with the great floral peony detail. And then you get the outline. Four and a half inch by around four inches. Let me show you two examples that I have that I put down to use on something coming. <laughs> Here are two examples of it. Because this is Yana's collection, she has videos breaking down each part of this collection. So you can watch individual videos. Like there'll be one for the Peony Celebration, one for the Place and Press. She also has one for this one, things like that. And then one with the stencil. So you see within this Let's Celebrate, there are different techniques for each product in this collection. Love, so that means you get lots of play and opportunity options. So here I have in vellum with some glue that outlined. And then I did this peony. This is in Spellbinders Dahlia. This is in Spellbinders Purple Mist. And then I did put the vellum out here. But you could use whatever color you wish. And she'll show you how to cut this. But it's so much fun. This is so pretty. Love peony celebration. And lastly for Yana's Let's Celebrate collection, there is the Let's Celebrate. You see that it's a rectangular wax seal stamp. This one will use between four or five wax beads, depending on how much you want to have. I like to get full coverage, but this is fabulous. I love these rectangular ones. They're easier to work with than the square ones. Square ones, sometimes you're talking five, six beads. You have to cover all the edges. These are easier to work with, but I love the Let's Celebrate. It's pretty much in the same style as the Celebrate Flowers. You see the celebrate, except it has let's here. So I haven't used this one yet. I think I'm going to make a card with this combination. I'm just having fun and exploring. So I'll see when I get there. <laughs> yeah, I'm having a ton of fun, crafters. I love this. I love all this better press goodness. And lastly, crafters, there is the mirrored arch collection. Three better press plates. A die set with a fun new shape. Nesting die set, 16 pieces. Largest die in here is an A2 die. This is called the Mirrored Arch Labels dies. Yay, I love all my foundation dies. And there's now a new one with a new shape. Add it to your stash. Because this one, I was like, yay, <laughs> I love the look of it. And then there's also a 3D embossing folder. This is called the Lux Backdrop and Border Die. So you get a top portion here, like almost two thirds down with this detail. And then you also get a floral piece down here. The floral piece has an edging to it, which coordinates with that die that's included in this set. Okay, Lux Backdrop. I did use this part, I haven't used this yet. All right, now let's talk about over here, because when I received this little bit of Spellbinders Happy Mail, I about died when I saw this one, because she needs just a moment by herself. <laughs> This is the Mother's and Father's Day sentiments. Spellbinders. <laughs> you just upped your game on You Are Everything sentiments, didn't you? Soon as I saw this, I was like, well, I am in love. Love, 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 love. So I pressed it out. Haven't glimmered it yet, but I did press it out in porcelain with black ink pebble in black ink. I've already been using it. Then I would die cut because of course it's a press once and die cut once. So I'll die cut solid color in the back to then add height and stability to the sentiment. It's the same principle as the you are everything, which I always call I am everything. So this is the I am everything during Mother's and Father's Day. Love, 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 love. So press once, die cut once, press once, die cut once. This one I have noticed has been selling out a lot of places. Sold out, restock, sold out, restock. She is a by far winner. Here is an example of her on one of my favorite cards. I love this from the Fresh Pick collection. Supposed to do a workshop on this, but I got so sick. So it's coming one of these days. <laughs> I gotta find some time, but it's coming. So here is that sentiment. See how it's all popped up off of here? That means that I have cardstock behind it and it's all nice and firm. Same thing here. I could have this same exact card. Now 
Happy Mother's Day. Mom, thanks for everything. Dad, you are the best. Happy Father's Day. I adore this. If you have this and you're just as happy as I am, then you might as well add the goodies to it, which is Mother's and Father's Day sentiments. And this is a smaller set, so it won't have this same price tag. And both of these can be glimmered. Happy. Now, you know I'm waiting for this. Crossing fingers, crafters. Fall and Christmas. Bring it. I am waiting for it. <laughs> Love it. How many times have I said that? A million. Then there's two more press plates based off of this same mirrored arch theme. There is the mirrored arch nested sprigs. Haven't used this one yet. This is an A2 sizing. These are drop-in plates. So you could press this and then have that cut out. Three styles of it and then a sentiment in the middle that reads, I can't read it. You are the best. You could ink blend and then press it or you could press it and color each one in. This now, she's a beauty. Mirrored arch blooms. Look at those blooms. There's that centerpiece. Sending birthday wishes to my most amazing friend. This does not have a coordinating die, but here is an open space to use with this. So super love. Alrighty, now let's go into my examples of all this better press goodness. Okay, crafters, first up, here is Everyday Copper Plate. The copper plate thank you sentiment and Yana's peony celebration deconstructed. This is in Spellbinder's waterfall cardstock. So I cut two versions of this and then angled it around an A2 base. Here is the sentiment thank you pressed in the middle. Which ink I used? Can't remember. One of those brand new better press inks though. There are two sets of inks. Jet Set and Tropical. I have to look and see. I haven't made a swatch. Watch Yana's latest video. She made this beautiful swatch. I was like, well, didn't you just make my swatch look like I'm not trying? So <laughs> I gotta go find something now to swatch out nicely. I understand what she was saying that when I was using the ink itself to press on my little swatch, the colors weren't matching correctly. So I think by pressing it like this, something with a coordinating die, love that too, then I would get the true representation. So I had pressed this out on cotton card, then came in with her flowers around it, finished it off with some green gems. In here, I still have the same vellum around it. So pretty. So it's not a hard card. It's not terribly high. It has zero height. The only height may be the gems and you can use flatter gems. So the cost to mail this to someone is like relatively low. But look how pretty this is. So I love the sentiment. See how it's big, but it's not taking over the whole card. Love that. Let me give you a measurement on this. Thank you. You're looking at two and three quarters of an inch tall by almost three inches wide. So super pretty. So you see how these two are working together here? Well, let's take it further with my next example. Up next, crafters. First, I pressed the Happy Birthday Sentiment. This is porcelain cotton card, black better press ink, copper plate Happy Birthday. I utilized mirrored arch labels dies to really create this image that I'm using my build a wreath die set and a garden wreath add-on to then highlight that sentiment. Let the sentiment pop happy birthday, give it florals, but also working with this shape. Yes, having fun. <laughs> I cut out two of this. It's one of these inner pieces in the porcelain. And then here is black cardstock. Pop these two off of that base. The base is the top portion of the Lux backdrop and border. See the detail? Love this. It has an art deco feel. The florals you're seeing here is from my garden wreath add-on die set. I used this die. This is the one I keep reaching for. But you see, there's so many florals in here that right now I could love this. And then next month, I could just be focusing on this one or this one or that one. <laughs> so what I did was two of this in hot pink. And the pink I'm using here is that Spellbinders Meadow Collection. The 80 pound cardstock, I will link that below. So everything I'm talking about, I will detail and link below. But that's from that Meadow Collection. These flowers, it's this one cut twice and staggered. And then I have this. I love that these, you know, going to the right, going to the left like this. So I'm using right here to cover up where the stems meet in the middle underneath my flowers. Now for the centers. I was going to use this 
but I wanted not such an organic center because I wanted to put a gem on it. So then I have been using, back to build a wreath, I love that center right there. That one for the big flower. And then for this star shape, I'm actually using this. So I have lots of centers in here that you can mix, match, play, change your mind, come over here, do something else. I think I have made this one with that center too. Just have fun. I could have also done the sunflower from here or these flowers too. Everything is in pinks, set against the black. Then here is the white and that sentiment, happy birthday. Love, 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 having fun. <laughs> so it's a lot of better press with florals. You're going to see that theme. And I was just writing that theme. Love all the florals. I could just bring in anything. Which brings me on to my next card. Florals again. So maximizing out that mirrored arch. This card is a shaped card. It will not stand up. So just think of the recipient opening it up and that's it. But I just love this shape so much. I just wanted to have it by itself. Then I use the sentiment here, miss you. I had pressed this out in bisque cotton card. So it's not porcelain. This is porcelain. That's bisque. Here I'm using what I love to use with bisque cotton card. Bark better press ink. Came in with this green card stock. Working with this cool color theme. The base of this is an A2, four and a quarter, five and a half inch. And then I came a couple in and did that layer. Skipped one over and came in with this. Cut out that sentiment, the miss you. Three inches tall by two and a half inch wide. And then I wanted some flowers because I have all this space. This is about an inch space here, here. So crafters, lately I've been using Club Blooms again, putting her back in the rotation. This is a past large die of the month from January of last year. She is a by far winner, the greenery. And then my new thing, love this. This was my first time using the Club Blooms instead of it always being berries like this. I was now putting flowers and to me, especially in the white, it reminds me of baby's breath. So I did it the first time here on the better press of the month. There it is. You are everything sentiment as well with club blooms love. So now that I'm using it like this, instead of just always having it as berries, and then I layered up. This is around eight buds on it. So it was on the back here. You could do it as berries or buds and I decided to give the bud a try. Here is the buds. You would cut two sections of this, you get eight flowers and then just layer it up on this piece right here. And then for this flower, I'm using these two right here and I put a little glitter drop here and then some clear drops here. So love this card, love the color scheme. It's not too bright and cheery, but then it's not drab and depressing. It's just in that middle row of nice colors, but cool and soft-ish. Mirrored Arch Labels, winner. Club Blooms, by far winner. And these sentiments, use them as a jump off. So with all three of these, I pressed the sentiments by itself, had no idea where I was going. I just used my A2 cotton card panels, the pre-cut ones. And then I decided, you know what? Florals. So there are a lot of floral die sets at Spellbinders. Shop your stash. Maybe add some newer sets like this or this. This would be pretty too with Beep Old Blooms. Yay! Love that. So use the sentiment as your jump off for everything else for your cards. Alrighty, so you see how I'm bringing in things from all three collections? Okay, crafters, up next, floral celebration. Look at my A2 card. And yes, I did cut this card down. You see that little thin matting layer? Precision layering A2, A and B. Oh, of course. <laughs> Precision layering A to A, B, 16 dies in each. When you layer these one from the other, you're getting that one eighth of an inch increment, which is really one sixteenth of an inch on each side. So I have a black background, very thin. So that would be this largest plate in black, then the largest plate over here in set B, that would be one eighth of an inch shorter, cutting out this better press plate. I really love that die set. It's just rectangles, but boy, she's a winner. So I used her to create this little dramatic black in the background, picks up back the black in here, porcelain cotton card with black better press ink. Now look at this image. Isn't it so pretty? So you and you could glimmer this as well. Come on in with the stencil, same inking as well. And I did use dye ink for this. 
Now, I had this bright pink, a different colorway, and it just wasn't looking right to me. I came in with two different shades of green, came in with a little turquoise, then some yellow, this color, and this was like a peachy color. It just wasn't right. I came in with like a super bright pink, and I think that made it perfect. I love this colorway, and this works so well these stencils. Like I said, if you're going to get this, you might as well get the stencils because she'll color up everything. And it's intentional that it doesn't color all the way through. The sentiment I'm using, let's celebrate sentiments. I have let's celebrate with a coordinating die and then one of the sentiments up here. So it's let's celebrate. Congratulations. We're so very proud of you. This now comes into something that I have had out because I've been talking about it so much. The better press place and press registration. This is Blooming Garden, which I just linked the video earlier with my Better Press hack. There is the coordinating stamp and die set. This die cuts this out. Here is the label within this die set. And so I use this die to cut this out. Yay. <laughs> And it worked perfectly for one of her sentiments because I prefer using a die for something like this than me trimming it. Anytime I try to trim something like this into a rectangle, it never works out. Something is just wonky and lean. I don't know. I just don't do it well. I took a cotton card scrap, pressed this out, and then put that die on top, and I was done. Love. So this collection is influencing and working in this one. Love that. Then in the back here, I said, well, I have this sentiment, this sentiment. What can I do? So I came in with Vivant Ribbon. When was the last time you've heard me talk about Vivant? I still love my Vivant. This is one of the Vivant 5 eighths of an inch silk or satin ribbon. Love in this colorway, which picks up back into a lot of the colors that are in here. Just a piece of ribbon, my sentiment on top. Then this big sentiment popped up a few times above this one. Finished off again with some green gems. I'm back into that spring mode with the florals and I love Spellbinders green gems. Love this card. Love this. This and that Mother's Day, Father's Day with the You Are Everything really is fabulous. Up next, crafters. I'm still working on this one. Here's the Celebrate pressed out. This is in Spellbinders Thunder Better Press Ink. That's in the Jet Set 4 pack. Better Press Ink, the little small ink cubes, comes in packs of four. So this is in the Jet Set pack. Look at that gray. And with a gray background, that's Spellbinders graphite cardstock, white porcelain cotton card. Love. So I did the Celebrate. Super easy to work with. Came in with a little watercolor. Time got me. So there's a card coming with this. What I used to die cut this out. So here is precision layering. It's not that. It's the 5 by 7 matting basics. So this was recently on sale as well. There is five by seven matting basics, A and B. These are seven dies each. The smaller dies in here will work on an A2 card. You see, cut my sentiment in this style of shape. This helps. So don't always look at this and go, oh, it can only do five by seven. You can absolutely use it for this type of style as well. Up next, crafters, this card is the Mirrored Arch Blooms. So love. Did my watercolor. This is actually a combination of two styles of watercolor. <laughs> the Karen Brush Marker Pro. Spellbinders does carry the Karen Brush Marker Pro in sets and also the big set. I have the big set. Then I also came in with some Zig. Because I had both of them out, I was just playing. Because they're both watercolor and they both work with me scribbling here and bringing it on here with my watercolor brush. Now here in the center of this sentiment, I use one of these dies twice. So I use one to cut out this center piece when I pressed it. And then I also did the sentiment a little smaller. Popped up the sentiment off of here. Put this over the black line that is here when this is pressed out. Then came in with precision layering again. Precision layering helped me to trim this down. This is an A2 card and it gave me the black card base. Skipped over one, came in with the green card base. Then here is the porcelain cotton card again with the florals on it. Because when you play between A and B, you can do thicker matting layer. You can also do a thin matting layer and come on in more and more. With this, you're going to get like a quarter of an inch spacing, okay? So super pretty though. 
love 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 and just had fun making this one i like that little pop of green the green comes back to this just to brighten it up a little bit so it's sending birthday wishes to my most amazing friend isn't that pretty mirrored arch label working with mirrored arch blooms so i still have this one to use the mirrored arch nested sprigs i have shown you all the goodies from these three collections that are winners and i do have more cards to come with this i could make 50 cards if i just sit here going back and forth you know i still have bits and pieces to work with and having fun so congratulations yana for another winning collection you want to see in-depth step by step definitely check out yana's videos also i'm loving this copper plate with the large sentiments this helps you to make easy cards or a starting point to then build on and why not bring florals into it and then the mirrored arch mirrored arch thumbs up okay crafters now let me go into some crafty news before i end this video just a reminder again there is the clearance now with the additional 15 percent off no code needed you'll see the discount applied at checkout also the weekender virtual craft retreat that is 199 for a 550 dollars value yana has a nice video giving you great detail about it from what i understand the nine die sets that you'll be receiving, which probably does equal the $1.99 or more, will be future release die sets. But you're not going to get it bundled like this. It's kind of like the Deluxe Caboodle Club, where if you buy the whole kit club, it's a better deal, 60% off at $120. Well, this is $199, nine die sets, plus embossing folder stencils. I believe there's some paper in it. You're going to also have access that crafty weekend it is a private facebook group so this is something not everybody can see you have 10 crafty teachers this is may 17th to the 19th if you have never taken a crafty workshop this is a good one because a 550 dollars value for 199 that's a steal with product in a kit being mailed to you place your order before the end of april to guarantee that you get your kit in the mail for the workshop and then all these designers will have their step-by-step -step videos that one is a good one i have done a one-on-one -on -one workshop many of them craft workshops where i've spent over 600 dollars, and that included no product i had to buy product at the end so this one is 199 that's a great deal and it's 10 people so if one person's style is not your style but then the other are then hey that's so worth it or if all 10 people you learned so much still worth it and you'll learn something to apply all the good stuff will be in that workshop because you know spellbinders has a lot of techniques now available we love all of them at least i know i do better press glimmer wax seal it's all good along with the die cutting yay speaking of that too spellbinders is now going into paper crafting so i don't know if it's going to be like a scrapbooking thing because now the papers are 12 by 12 there are a few new collections right now there is a rosie studio heartfelt collection i will link that below doodlebug there's a lot of doodlebug and not only six by six 12 by 12 paper roses again 12 by 12 and 6 by 6. Some of them have the ephemera, even simple stories. So we might be veering into scrapbooking. I started out as a scrapbooker. My style of scrapbooking was always bringing in dies into my scrapbooking. So I wouldn't be losing anything. All of these can still work in there. You could still have a better press sentiment and then the floral background, maybe put a picture in here and still work it. So I'll see where all these 12 by 12 paper packs are going, if it's going to go mixed media or scrapbooking, but it's all good. Next, there is the February and March craft along class that's coming on Thursday, March 21st at 10 a.m. MST. That's mountain time. It looks like it's going to be Jennifer McGuire's in it joining the fun yay so now she's teaming up with spellbinders for some excitement with that february march craft along and that's a free event so mark your calendars i already signed up to be notified for that one that's on the spellbinders youtube channel and it's going to be pretty because february's kit club was pretty and march out the gate winner just look around then if you're not sure what i'm talking about the march kit club i'm going to link my video here but watch other people's videos go to their blogs and you'll be like 
yes, Zen wasn't lying. My goodness, am I seeing a range because it really does offer a jump off. And that February club too. The basket, does it always have to be Easter? No, it can be any time. You can tuck anything into these baskets, but I'm loving these florals. Look at these floral cards. So love, but if florals are not your thing, you can still have fun too. Also, the surprise box, that's still there. $75 for $290 worth of crafty goodies. You'll get two card making kits. You'll get some dyes, stamps, embellishments, and other goodies. Alrighty, crafters, everything will be detailed and linked below. Thanks so much for hanging around, watching these three collections that are playing and having fun together. I hope you guys got this. If you do have the You Are Everything, you got to get this one. But these will not work as die cutting. This will be if you have a glimmer or a better press or both. New to better press, do yourself the favor. These two are fantastic sentiments, both with coordinating dies. So all three collections, <laughs> exciting. Alrighty, crafters, until the next video, stay crafty, my friends. Bye.